Hey, and welcome back. Let's work on our user registration. But before we start, I want to fix some errors that I made. The first one is in user controller. I misspelled the word exports. Give it a save. The next one is in user model. And I misspelled the word timestamp. I put an extra R. Now I'll give this a save. Next, I'm going to add a few more packages that our server will need. So open up my terminal, open up another terminal, CD into my server folder. And the first package I want to add is bcrypt.js. So I do not want to store the raw password of our user in our database. So instead we will encrypt it by using bcrypt.js. The next package is JSON web token. This is the main thing to make up our authentication system, a token based system where our server will create an encrypted token for our user to identify them, to store their information and to make sure they are who they say they are. All right. The next package will be no mailer. This will help our server to send out email. And the last one will be Google APIs. This will help us integrate sign in with Google and also use Gmail. I will press enter and let that run. Close my terminal and then navigate to my user controller JS. I'm also going to close my sidebar. First, I want to require in bcrypt JS. So const bcrypt equal require bcrypt.js and then go inside my register async function define the try and catch block so first i will try to register the user but if there's any error i will try to catch the error and then send that back to the user so before we tackle this i want to talk about the async function so when a user wants to register, they will send their information to our server. Then our server will process that with our database. And then we will send something back to the user like, Hey, go check your email. So all of these steps are going to take some time to execute depend on our database and the user connections. So there's no way we can determine the exact time that this is going to take. Therefore we use an async function. So basically we're saying, Hey, I got your information. Let me process it first and then I'll give you an answer. And that's the whole gist of it. All right, so first let's work on our catch block. So if there's an error, I want to respond with an error, but first a status of 500 and then a JSON message of the error and look inside for the message. And now to the try block. And this will be the structure First, I want to get the user information. So get info. And I want to show you where that is. And if I go to register. In this form, the user will need to give us their info. All right, next, I want to check for the fields. To make sure the user fill out all the fields in that form. After that, I want to check for the email format. And if it's a valid format, I want to use that email and check for the user if that user exists or not. After that, I want to check for their input password. If the password is right, I want to hash the password. And then after hashing it, I want to create a token. So this is the token that will be included in the link that our server will send out in an email once a user registered. So the next thing will be send email. And then if everything passed, that means the registration is successful. All right, let's work on get info. So I will say const name, email, and password. It is in the request body, the register form that I showed you a second ago. So once we have that, we want to check for the fields. So I will say if the name is empty or the email is empty and also or the password is empty. I want to return a response with a status of 400. 
and a chase on message of please fill in all field all right next i want to check for email so it should be email here instead of format because we're checking for the email format and this is where i will use a helper so helpers are small simple function that help us execute complex tasks all right i will open my sidebar go into my helpers folder and then create a new file i will call it validate email.js close my sidebar i will copy this code in instead of typing it out so this is a boilerplate code that will check the format of our email so like an email should have an at symbol and then a com or net you can find this snippet in the project github repository and check lesson 16 branch all right i'm going to give it a quick save and then navigate back to my controllers first i will import the helpers in so const validate email require is in my helpers folder and then i will go down to check email and use the helper so i will say if the email format is not right i want to return a response of a status of 400 and a json message of please enter a valid email address next if we have the valid email i want to use that and check for a user to see if one is already exists using this email address so i will say const user equal await and then use our user model look inside our database by using a method called find one and i will find one by using the valid email that the user just gave me and i'm using await because it's going to take some time to look into our database next i want to say if the user exists meaning there is a user with this same email address then I want to return with a response of status 400 and a JSON message saying this email is already registered in our system. So if this passed, the next thing I want to do is check for the password. So I will say if password.length is less than six characters. I want to return a response of status 400 with a JSON message saying password must be at least six characters. Next, if the password is valid, I want to take in that password and hash it. We will use bcrypt.js for that. So first we need to create a salt. So I will say cons salt equal await bcrypt dot gen salt and then i want to use that salt to hash the password so i'll say cons hash password is equal to await bcrypt dot hash and i want to hash the valid password using the salt next we want to create a token once again we will use a helper for that so open my sidebar, go into helpers and create a new file and I will call it create token.js. Close my sidebar. The first thing I want to do is require in JSON web token. So I will say JWT equal require JSON web token and then define my function as const create token inside i want an activation token it will take in the payload so whatever information we want to pass inside the token and then an arrow function and then i want to say return jwt sign so basically our server will sign this token we will pass in the payload and then a secret key using dot env so i will say process dot env i will call the key activation underscore token next i will give it an expiry so i will say expires in five minutes so basically the email that our server will send will include this token and this will be valid for five minutes 
So after 5 minutes and the user didn't check their email or go to that link, that link will be expired. Now I want to export this out. So module.exports equal create token. Give it a quick save. Navigate to my .env file. Create that secret key, which was activation underscore token equal to essentially you can type anything here. So I will put some random string with some symbol. Give it a quick save and then navigate back to my controller file. First, I will require in the helper. I will say const create token require. It is in my helpers create token file scroll down before using the helpers i want to define the payload so i will say const new users is equal to name email and then password will be the hash password so this is the information that i want to pass inside the token next i will use the helper so const activation underscore token is equal to create token using the activation one and then pass in new user all right next we will send out email and we will take care of that in the second part of this lesson all right see you then